So here we want to look at marginal product of labor and marginal revenue product. You'll see it abbreviated as MPL and MRP. Here's the situation. We have a perfectly competitive market. The going price for the product is $2. Uh, going rate for labor is $50. So perhaps that's a perfectly competitive labor market as well. Um, how many workers should we use? This is a common AP microeconomics question. So you're told the number of workers, you're told what they're producing in terms of output. So zero workers obviously have no output. One worker produces 35, two workers produce 75 on down the line. First thing that we want to calculate is the MPL, marginal product of labor. That's what each additional worker produces. So going from no workers to one worker, they're producing 35 more. Going from one worker to two workers, produces 40 more. Going from two workers to three workers, they produce 27 more. Three workers to four workers, 23 more. Four workers to five workers, produces just five more. So we're really seeing diminishing marginal returns from that second to fifth worker. The next thing that we want to look for is the MRP, marginal revenue product. This is really just what each additional worker provides in terms of a dollar value. So if we can sell this product for $2 each, and we can sell as many as we want since it's perfect competition, um, all we're going to do is calculate MPL, marginal product of labor, times the price. That's how we get MRP. This is just MPL times the price. So $35 times the going price, which was $2, so that first worker provides us an additional $70. The next worker provided us $40 more, $2 each, so that second worker really added $80 in terms of revenue for the business. Next worker produced $27 more, so that worker provided an additional $54 to the business. $23 more times $2 again, they provided another $46 to the business, and the last worker provided an additional $10 to the business. So how many workers should we use? If the going rate for labor is $50 a day, we have to pay everybody $50 a day, all we're going to do is use the workers as long as the MRP is greater than or equal to the wage that we have to pay the employee. So if we can pay $50 and get $70 more, we'll use that worker. $80 more for another $50, we'll use that worker. $54 for paying another $50, we'll use that worker. But no one is going to pay another $50 for another worker just to get $46 in return. So we are going to use three workers um, total.